This is 5 Minutes with Jeremy Garner, the Creative Director of Weapon 7. Hi Jeremy. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, you okay? Yeah, good thanks. Good. Can you give us a quick summary of your career to date? Uh, my career, um, I started off in 1994 um, as a copywriter in uh, Hong Kong, where I was living at the time. Um, I um, moved back to England in 1997 after about five and a half years living in Hong Kong. So I was doing a job previous to that, a completely different thing. Working in the garment trading industry, living in Bangladesh, it was a little bit tangential. Okay. Um, moved back to England and then I went to companies such as Moda Media, started off. Uh, so I became their first digital copywriter. Stayed there for about 18 months. I did the startup called Glue Media at that time uh, with Mark Ridge. So I was there for about nine months, I think. Swapped over and did a, another one called Blood Partnership with Time Communications. Um, and then I went to Moda Media again for a bit, two and a half years or something. Wheel, became LBI. And then I've been at Weapon 7 for uh, just under three years. Okay, describe the creative industry in three words. Um, I'd say not, uh, not tangential enough. <laughs> okay. Who inspires you creatively? Um, I think the people that inspire me creatively probably don't work in this industry. I think I really like uh, sort of things that are a bit tangential and a bit wrong. If that doesn't sound wrong. Well, a lot of people ask this question to so say that. Uh, people that inspire them also come outside of the industry. I don't have many people that are in. Mm. I think for me, it's um, it's painters, um, you know, bands, uh, anyone really. I think anyone that thinks with a bit of spark and impulse, and probably a little bit differently. And um, so, my kids, for example, I've got a ten-year-old and a six-year-old, and they definitely inspire me creatively, just because their thoughts. Uh, you know, they paint a lot of small canvases, and uh, their thoughts are just. Uh, Bizarre. Okay, nice answer. What but do you look? Nice way. What do you look for in good creatives? I think I look for um, enthusiasm is the most important thing, and uh, a positive attitude, and uh, um, the ability to make um, a nice cup of tea <laughs> for themselves. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, who's the most creative person you've ever worked with? Um. Trickington. That's actually a very Trickington question. Maybe you're yet to work with them, who knows? Probably. I've actually worked with tons of very, very interesting, sparky, creative people. It'd be very tricky to pick out just one, actually. Um, but there are a few that stand out. There's a guy I worked with um, in the very early days when I started off my career called uh, Pog. His real name's Andrew Pogson, and he just stands out because of his way of thinking. He's just very interesting and um, outlandish and unpredictable. Um, <laughs> What's the? Not least him dressing up in silver foil for work, <laughs> stuff, stuff like that, just normal. But it's just yeah, normal for him. Yeah. What's the best brand you've ever worked on? Um. I think um, I like working on the brands here, obviously, they're really uh, interesting, but it was very interesting to work on some P&G brands a few years ago for fragrances, such as Lacoste, that was very interesting, I quite liked the whole process actually, it was insight driven, but yeah, it, you know, there was room there to come up with some very uh, interesting stuff, which at the time... Uh, yeah, it was, it was quite uh, it was quite different. Was that here or at LBI? Uh, it was a wheel, yeah. That wheel, okay. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest risk you've ever taken in your career? The biggest risk? Um, the biggest risk... It was probably moving to London instead of Singapore, I think, <laughs> back in 1997. Okay. But... I don't know, it's, a, uh, it's not really a risk, it's, I suppose, it's, uh, I think for me, if we, all uh, element of risk was removed, it would be all very boring. So I like to, uh, you know, do things that uh, are a little bit risky, I think. What's your favourite advertising campaign of all time? 
Um, I actually really like the Monster campaign, actually, from a few years ago, from Sarchi's. Um, you know, Beware the Voices. I thought that was really funny and really good. I remember seeing it on the TV at the time and just loved it. My favourite one is the job conference one, where you've got that demented guy that just laughs uncontrollably. <laughs> I think that's really funny and I can never ever tire of watching that. In fact, every couple of months I have to watch that just as a, um, you know, just to put my mind in order. <laughs> I do like that one. Okay, let's move on to a quick fire round. Right. FWA or NMA? Um, FWA. I mean. Can Lion or DNA D Pencil? Um, either of them will do. <laughs> can I say both? Yeah, of course. Digital design or graphic design? Um, I think um, digital design actually. Creatives or suits? Creative or suits? Hmm. Well, it's obviously creative, but I might say suits just to be slightly wrong. <laughs> mm. Apple or Android? Uh, Apple. Degree or no degree? Um, well, I've got no degree. Um, most of the other people have here though, so I'm going to have to say degree. Web or mobile? Uh, mobile. Independent agencies or networked agencies? Um, I think networked agencies that feel like independent agencies. Good answer. Yeah. Outsource production or on-site production? I think outsourced. Miami Ad School or Hyper Island? Um, Hyper Island. Watford or Bucks? Uh, books. Okay, and lastly, Don Draper or Roger Sterling? I'd say um, Don Draper, <laughs> even though I don't watch it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much. All right, thanks.